and I don't know. I know, right? It like does this stupid freaking dark thing. I don't get that. I don't either. <sighs> Zup. Hello, my people. How are you? I know it's warm outside, but in this house, it's a freezer. Well, it's, it's due to the fan, but we have to keep it on for sake of the PC. <laughs> That's the truth. What are you going to do? We have so much stuff we have to get fixed and taken care of and it just Hurry up. Well, I've pretty much given up because my body is just a total I feel bad for my doctor to tell you the truth. Cause I gotta see him soon this week. And I got to tell him, Doc, my breast got worse. Doc, there's more skin that is peeling off me, sir, that I don't understand why. I feel like one of those people on Doctor Who um, in New, 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 New York where the like cat nurses take care of people. And there's this one episode where they keep a bunch of people in like these pods and they have like every disease imaginable. I feel like that. I know I don't have every disease imaginable. It's just fibromyalgia and osteo and, you know. Polycystic ovarian disease. And well, yeah. But it really makes you miserable, um, especially the arthritis. It's been so bad. Like I have a heater pad on my hip right now because it's 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 so bad. I didn't even take my meds today, did I? I don't know. I don't think I did. I don't think you did either. Hold not on. Yet. Not yet. <clears throat> You know, to the people out there saying I'm I'm faking my sicknesses, how could I have so many medications in bottles if I'm that are prescribed obviously? If uh I was lying. Yes. You, know, you have the prescription bottles with your name on it, yes. That's right. He goes to the doctors with me. Do I get him to lie for me too? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm picking up your meds at the at the pharmacy too. Nah. Oh. I even got I'm such a good liar that I even got the doctors fooled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I'm so good at lying, I can like like, with the power of my mind, mutate the x-ray to my will. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm that much of a liar. Mm -hmm. I'm that much of a liar that I make, you know, the lumps in my breast look even more lumpy when I get my mammograms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I'm lying about my head things too that's all a lie too <laughs> but yet the same people who say I'm lying about my head things are the same people that are like, she's crazy, but I'm lying about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you listen to a moron. Uh, 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 
<laughs> CF. What's CF? CHF? Congestive heart failure? I don't know. No, I don't know what CF is. No. What? I don't know what CF is either. Whatever. I don't care. I just think it's really cystic fibrosis. Oh, I don't... okay. I never said I had cystic fibrosis. No. No. Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. I have that. Mm -hmm. But I never said I had cystic fibrosis. No. Maybe they're talking about themselves or something. I, I don't know. Somebody else. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Um, communication can be misread at all times. I had this one person send me this whole thing being like, explain yourself. And it's like all these videos of all these people who've, who've collected over me, taken everything I say completely out of context. Uh -huh. Um, and, 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 you know, I'm just going to block that one person, tell you the truth, because I'm not going to go through the same fucking thing over and over and over again. No, eventually you pick out, because there was somebody that was, that Lynn person, Lynn, I blocked them, because they said blink twice if you need help. That comes from the geek room type shit, so I blocked them immediately. Yeah, you pick up little things. Little things, yeah, and you know where they're from. Yeah, I don't have to defend myself. No, you don't. No, we don't. We want people that are fans of us in here, that yeah. that that enjoy talking with us about issues, whatever it may be. But if you're a hater, and we know you come from those places, you're gonna get blocked. No, I ain't blocking you, dissection girl. <clears throat> Miscommunications happen. You know. I don't have to defend myself to people online. Yeah, and we'll there's no rules that say I must defend myself to the court of the internet. Right. Right. And I'm and done defending myself. People need to start realizing that. I'm done defending myself because I don't need to defend myself. I said what I said. If you take it a wrong way, you take it the wrong way. If you take it the right way, you take it the right way. I don't care. Yeah, the bottom line is that we don't want haters here. Like, I don't hate on people. You take what I say, turn it and spin it to something else, and then turn me into an evil person. That's on you. That's not on me. That's on you. I didn't do anything bad to you. So you coming to me acting like I'm doing something sinisterly wrong to you because I need to answer you answer to you. No, I don't. I don't know who you are. You're not my friend. You're some random person on the internet. I don't know who you are. Why would I defend myself to you? I say what I say. I do what I do. I'm going through what I'm saying I'm going through. It's not my fault people are lying about it. It's not like it, it's not my fault that people misinterpret what I say or or clumsily, you know, I, I say something and people take it out of context or something like that. I don't care anymore. That's where I'm at is I do not care. I love my peace. I'm going to continue to have my peace. And if you don't care about me having my peace, I don't want you in my life. It's pretty simple as that. I want other people to have peace around me. I want to have peace. I don't want this constant back and forth drama over bullshit that happened years ago. Yeah. I don't want this back 
word shit where things that I said were twisted and put out of context. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care what these people's big grumps are toward me. I don't care if you don't like me even. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to love my life. Whatever, however much life I have, I'm going to love it and enjoy it and, and, and try to be as content as I possibly can while struggling and, and just love life. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to suffer anymore in my life. I've suffered enough. I had to deal with an extremely abusive mother most of my life who didn't give a shit about if I lived or died. I dealt with men who, who beat me, mentally abused me. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with sick people who want to get into my personal business and try to make me look like I'm some liar, thieving, scammer toward people. I don't, I don't, I don't need you in my life. I've, I've gone through enough. I've gone through enough where I don't fucking care. I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to love me. I'm going to make sure that my quality of life and my life is happy and full of love and joy. I don't need the negative Nancy's. So if you're a negative man Nancy, kick rocks, you're gone. You're no longer in my life. I, I don't want you in my life. I don't need to be further brought down. I'm already at down. I'm already at the lowest part of my life. I'm already sick as hell. I'm already emotionally just traumatically fucked up in the head as much as anyone could be. <clears throat> I don't have any more family. I don't have any more friends. It was all destroyed by people. You know, you, you, you want to call me selfish? I really don't care. I was forced to be selfish by one person after another person after another person after another person treating me like I'm lesser than a human being, dehumanizing me. And they all do this for funny, funny bits and so they can have money for themselves. At least I'm not like you guys. No. You know, I may be poor. I may be poor in health. I may be poor in, in physical health. But at least I'm not like you guys. And I can take pride about that every single day. That I'm not a type of person to sell out their fellow man just to get a pretty penny. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I just want to say fast that... Here, I'll put you... Okay. I'm done saying what I need to say. All right, I'll just... You should, you should remind G-Man if anything happens to your tire, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing to start it with. I have heard through the same person that's keeping me up to date because they're watching G-Man, which is good. Thank you for that. I've heard through this person now that their plans are, G-Man's plans, are to find out more about the car. He's pretty sure of the ride that I have now. What are your plans, Gary? That's what I'm asking. Why do you want to know what car I drive? I'm telling the internet and everybody that has any, any, anything to do or hears any of us, me, G-Man, any of them, I'm telling the internet at this right now. If something happens to that car, the man that's responsible for it is Gary Lamont Moore. Okay? I know that already. And I'm going to call the cops and tell them that, Gary, if anything happens to my car. 
Why are you so interested with the car I have? We it's none of your cop, fucking we business. We should give the cops that video so they have it for evidence. Whatever. My ride is none of your goddamn business. I don't know you. You're not friends with me. I don't give you rides anywhere. You have no reason to want to know anything about my car other than having someone come here and just destroy it. And, and I'm saying that now, and I will give this and the video of you saying to find out about my car to the police if something happens to it. That's fucking it. But I want to say really fast, um, e even if you're a person that's kind and has sent stuff to us, maybe helped us with some food, some bread, some pasta, it's this is really for you. Yeah, thank okay? you. We appreciate you a lot. We appreciate but, people who buy us food. Of course. But I'm talking to this person that then sent that. Yeah. Okay, with explain yourself. If you give us aid, that doesn't mean that we're going to be like, we're, yeah, we're going to tell you the whole story about all these lies. There's not much other to say to you than if it's coming from someone like Drader or Dragnot or the Geek Room, that type of deal, they've started to leave us alone, apparently. I don't know. Okay. This stuff is in the past, and some of these people are starting to move on, which is really good. Like, Dragnot seemed like he moved on. Uh, Geek Room seems like they moved on. That's cool. Jewel, we're talking to Jules now. It's like we're friends. So, if you are kind to us and then expect us to go back in the past and explain all of this really hurtful stuff, you have to understand what it does to our mind. We literally have to go back and be re-traumatized for all of that shit that was done to us. We're not going to discuss it with you. And actually, we'll probably almost come with a hostile attitude towards you at that point because it triggers us so bad. Yeah, we okay? don't have to explain our past to you. No. It's none of your business. It really isn't. If you want to go and dig through all these videos of the, that these people have made in the past and then come at it with us, we're going to block you. I'm just letting you know that. These people have lied about us continually for years. And they used all of these. It's very few things that actually happened. And we're literally going back to 2018 and 19. It's insane. This is, it's 2024, guys. We've let this shit go. And we just want to have a channel. We've gone to therapy for these things. Mm -hmm. and, and We've we been mentally... Taking care of over these things. Yeah, we we've had therapy. We've had we've had to go to therapy for this shit. I'm not going and to uh, defend myself over these rumors anymore. No. I'm not doing it. Exactly. And if you demand me to defend this shit, you could go fuck yourself. Because as as far as I'm concerned, you're nothing but part of the same people who is just trying to get some more additional information out of us. And I'm really sick of my private life coming to the public. Yeah, I agree. I'll look for your DM dissection, girl. I don't I don't know. We I don't know if I've seen it. I'm sorry. We get quite a few messages over time, so I'll look for you. Uh If if you're kind in heart and you've done things for us, we we I don't I can't express how much that we appreciate that. We do. But then don't don't then come to us though with this hurtful shit from the past. Okay? Saying we have to explain ourselves to people that openly lie about every single fucking aspect of our life. No, we're not doing that. Because it's it destroys our minds, I'm telling you, okay? You wouldn't want it done to you. Exactly. So that's what I had to say. You I'm wouldn't done. want you your, want your past. Or... Yeah. Go ahead. You wouldn't want your past constantly thrown up in your face and have random people you don't know come to you and tell you. You explain your fucking past to me. Exactly. Yeah, put yourself in our position. Exactly. No. Fuck you. I don't I don't ask for your business. Don't ask for mine. Peace of Maranatha.